He never drinks. He never eats. Which is of no extraordinary sight. For food and drink are far from essential for Demont's survival. However, he never laughs. He never cries and he never rages. He never blinks. He never speaks unless there is an utmost necessity. He will simply slaughter with a grand sword marred. With someone's blood. He will waste not a second to slash his foes down to his feet. Yet he never pants and he never tires out. He kills. He kills today. And he will kill tomorrow. He does not fall today and he will not fall tomorrow. Countless demons were enthralled by such majesty. Such demons pledged allegiance that will last for more than several millennia, and they swore to raid upon Gruzam in his pursuit. None of them predicted he will fail his conquest of Gruzam. Their belief in him was neither a vaunt nor a magnification, for he already boasted a history of descent upon Gruzam with his legion. At the time, he was a living calamity treading earth. More than a handful of adjudicators attempted to stop him in vain. The adjudicators were torn apart by his sword, breathing with thirst for blood never seen before. Such scenes stirred glee among demons, who ripped humans apart just the same. Alas, he needs more. He needs much more. He must destroy all life upon Gruzam. And so he must take Gruzam as his. And so he must catch up to the dim illusion, flickering beyond the mountains of bodies he built. And so he must once again hold the hand of a child he had long lost, be it the last time if it is. And so he desperately trails his past. His reminiscence does not lie with the past when he was a hero for all, a savior of innumerable people and tribes. The only reminiscence he allows for himself lies with the one he should have protected. And he dreams of their reunion. A fool's hope, it may be. Nonetheless, for the sake of his dream, he has survived so far. Or rather, for the sake of his dream, he spent another day without letting himself die. <laughs>